गुड मॉर्निंग सुभाष हाय मैम गुड मॉर्निंग हाउ यू हैप्पी न्यू ईयर थैंक यू मैम सेम टू यू हैप्पी न्यू ईयर टू यू एंड आई एम डूइंग वेल द डे हैज स्टार्टेड वेल आई थिंक इट विल गो वेल टू सुपर सो सुभाष यू एंड आई एम मीटिंग फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम सो कुड यू प्लीज गिव मी अ शॉर्ट इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट योरसेल्फ Yes as you know that my name is Subhash Pal and I hail from Guwahati from the state of Assam and here I am doing service in a government office and I live with my family and my main uh motto is to learn spoken english and that's why I'm here Super so what does your job uh, uh, entail My job is uh, just uh, I am doing service in the uh, intermediate uh, I mean middle level of supervisory work kind of thing so mm-hmm. just most of the time uh, this filing works actually so I get the filing files from the lower level officer then I get um, after doing my work then I send it to the higher level officer Okay super super and um uh, how do you apply learning english to your job Basically actually uh, in spoken english it is uh, we don't require much actually but uh, when it comes to writing yes uh, i do a lot and i have been practicing a lot for a long time and i have the confidence i can do it well when it comes to uh, writing but in spoken there is some problem because uh, we don't have anybody to speak with in office yes sometimes i do end up speaking in english with my boss but that is also occasionally not on a regular basis okay super so um your journey with clapping go has been very long from what i can see you have done over yes. 290 sessions so um which are the areas that you still feel that you need improvement in I need a see when I started uh, I could hardly speak so there was uh, there is an improvement definitely I can say because when I started to face the tutors uh, initially I was uh, very much apprehensive of talking to them and before starting a session I always uh, I used to get butterfly in my stomach whether I would be able to speak with them so that is no more an issue yeah petrified so that is no more okay. an issue now but still uh, i can see that i can improve on my fluency pronunciation this is the main areas these are the main areas okay super that's great so uh, tell me would you have a topic that you want to talk about today because from what the feedback i have is that you always come out with a topic in every session that you'd like to uh, talk about no actually uh, i don't get uh, any topic from the clapping or nowadays so whatever teacher feel like and whatever they ask me i just try to give answer and that's how it goes oh okay fantastic so um, uh, tell me is are you all right if i am able to give you feedback uh, as in when you speak uh, to correct you or would you like it towards the end of the session Uh, i would like it to as per your convenience whatever you feel like that if you think that uh, you can give it will be convenient for you to give at the end of the session it's okay and if you give uh, while speaking i, I don't mind uh, any time you can give because i need the feedback i want to be improve on that after getting the feedback so yeah i uh, it's welcome any time okay super so i must first of all congratulate you you've been uh, extremely resilient and 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 really passionate to done so many sessions in english and it's clear that you want to be that person who can speak in a language and clearly yeah. english is the most spoken language in the world so it does hold value if you know this language yeah yeah sure right? sure right yeah. so there are two three things which i have found so far in our conversation one is uh, you know like you correctly said pronunciation needs to be worked on Mm-hmm. right there are a few words for example filing so the word filing has to be f right so the filing okay. needs to be said and the mm-hmm. um, there are two more things which i feel that when you talk um, and you know of course you know when you speak english with uh, your seniors or your peers and you know with people uh, when you speak about yourself 
you know, there needs to be a little more confidence in it. So when you say, I asked you, what do you do? You said, I just do some filing. So don't use the word just, uh, you know, bring that confidence in. So when you say, I just do filing, it just shows that you're not very happy doing what you do. Right? <laughs> so don't use the word just before what you do. It kind mm -hmm. of minimizes it, the value of it. Right. So the, mm -hmm. whatever you do, do it with pride and say it with pride that, you know, this is how I contribute to my office. Okay, okay. thank you. Thank uh, you that's one. And the second is uh, you spoke about speaking with your boss. So you said you end up speaking with my boss. So when you use words like end up speaking, so that that means that you ne you don't really get to speak to him or, um, you know, you don't enjoy speaking to him. Okay, okay. That right. Is, so when you say yeah. end up uh, the word end up has various meanings. So be very careful when you use certain words uh, in the sentence. So some, mm -hmm. and you know, when we speak, uh, Subhash, uh, we express ourselves, right? Yes, so therefore yes. the choice of words needs to be very uh, carefully selected before we, you know, understand so that we get the correct message across. Yes, yes, right. Right, right? and I have proved it to you in these two examples that maybe you are proud of what you do but when you use the word just, it doesn't show that. That's the first one. And the second example is when you use the word, I end up speaking with my boss, means that you don't really enjoy it or maybe, you know, you just have to do it. So these are two examples that I've shared with you. Okay, I got it. So if I say like yeah. this, it will go, uh, it will send a wrong signal to the uh, listeners. If I say like It that. will send a different message. I'm not going to say yeah. right or wrong, a different message. Do you want to send this message is the question. Yeah, yeah, no, no, definitely not. Yeah, so then the idea here is to send the message which you really want to send. So the word mm -hmm. choice needs to be careful, carefully selected. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. All right, perfect. Yeah. So um, from, I think what uh, we can maybe look at a topic that I want to do with you because you've done so many here is about risk taking. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. So let's talk mm -hmm. about risk taking today. I think it's an interesting topic, um, you know, given... Uh, you know, where you are today, what you do, and how long you've been here with Lapingo. So let's talk about that. So are you a risk taker? No, I am not a risk taker, but I know that uh, if you want to progress in your life, you need to take risks. That's a no, but when it comes to me, I always uh, find it difficult to take risks, and I always think about the future. Uh, what are the wrong <laughs> things going to happen to me if I take these risks? in future. So that's why it always uh, hold me back. So I am not a risk taker. That's okay. That's all right. And I think it's there is no right or wrong in this. It's just that sometimes some risks are too big to be taken and some risks are small enough to be taken. Right. Mm -hmm. So that can be decided on that. Right. So yes, tell yes. me when you talk about, you know, risk taking, what are the factors that anyone should consider? So if you're talking to someone and saying, okay, you know, if you want to be a risk taker, these are the factors you should consider uh, before you take risk. Give me some, just a few factors which you think are general. Suppose in case of financial things, okay, so if I put my money in stock market, so there is an issue that I have to take risks if I want to gain some. And as we know that no risks, no gain. So, but when I think about that, um, if I put my money that I have to take calculated leaks, leaks here because I cannot put all the money. Uh, it will be uh, like a gamble. And if I lost, there will be no other way to get it back. So if I uh, put the money, if I uh, invest the money little by little, taking what is happening in the stock market, and then it is okay. I am taking little risks so that I can recover it later <clears throat> part. But if I take the big risks at one, if I spend the uh, sorry invest the money at one go, then if I lose this one, there is no chance to get back because once I lose my capital, there will be no money left with me to uh, invest anymore in the market. So that will be a very foolish thing to do. And in that case, I'll have to think about that for before taking risks. So these are the things. So, there are yeah, so, so many when you're saying things. loss, you mean loss and lose. Those are two different words. So when you said if there is a loss, yeah. right, that is a different yeah. word. And if I lose some money, so those are two different words. Yes, yes. Okay, great. Continue. So uh, th that is how, I mean, uh, it depends upon what I'm doing. 
So the risk is like that. Okay, so good. So for you, according to you, if someone wants to take some risks, uh, the factors are, what should he mm -hmm. consider? The factors that uh, you have to, um, he or she have to think before, what are the okay. outcome going to be? Uh, okay. If I do this, if I take this fix. So okay. if it uh, does not come the way I want it, and if I have to suffer a great loss, then I have to think over and over again before taking the plunge. So that's how I would uh, advise whenever you want to take the risk, just think before that, what are the factors? As I said, the losing money, and in some cases, maybe uh, you may lose your face also in some cases before your friends, your uh, colleagues. So mm -hmm. there are so many things according to the situation, all these things happen and you'll have to- Need to be considered. Yeah, so according yeah. to you, that's, that's most important. Okay, great. Uh, thank you for sharing that. Uh, let's do a little bit of vocabulary today. I'd like to uh, work on a few words with you and I'd like, I will re repeat the word and you will need to repeat it after me. Okay. 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 And in case there's any word for which you're not clear of the meaning, then you can stop me. Okay. Right. Okay. Mm. Um, hazard. Hazard. Liability. Liability. Opportunity. Opportunity. Peril. Oh, pardon, I did not get it. Peril. No, I don't. Uh, can you spell the word? P E R I L. Peril. Oh, peril. Okay. Okay, peril. Hmm. Possibility. Yes, possibility. Prospect. Prospect. Uncertainty. Uncertainty. Contingency. Contingency. Dicey. Dicey, yeah, you can tell me this one. Dicey means something slightly dangerous or uncertain. Okay, D-I-C-E-Y. D-I-C-E-Y. Okay. Right, speculate. Speculate. Chance. Chance. Odds. Odds. Bet. Bet. Threat. Threat. Security. Security. Calculated. Calculated. Gamble. Gamble. Probable. Probable. Very good. That's very nice. Yeah. I think your pronunciation is also good, um, you know, across the words. Um, I think you're able to open your mouth wide enough to speak the word clearly. Right? Okay. Uh, okay. There is a certain F sound which comes with the first sound, which is of course, you know, because that is from the native language itself. So, uh, you know, that should not be a problem at all. Right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, my feedback to you today has been about your, um, you know, your pronunciation, right? It also has yeah. have, have corrected you simultaneously on words such as lose and loss, you yeah, know, how yeah. to use it. Right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and also, I think you've spoken very well about, um, you know, risk taking. You've said mm -hmm. very nicely about a lot of things there. And mm -hmm. um, are there any questions for me, Subhash? Uh, no, right now I don't have anything to ask, but uh, I just want to know about you because I think uh, as we rightly say that we are waiting for the first time and I think you are very new to this uh, on this platform. So could you please introduce a little about you also? Yes, sure. Um, thank you for asking. Uh, yes, I am uh, one month old in this platform. And um, I own my own firm, um, okay. which does consulting, training and strategy. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm a behavioral skill trainer, as well as an image consultant. Okay. And uh, you can look me up on LinkedIn for any further details. Okay, okay. And you are from? I'm from Mumbai. Mumbai, yeah, the financial yeah. city of India, the great India. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. But I think now more of the other cities are also coming up. You see Bangalore coming up, you see Kolkata, uh, you know, which is coming up, Chennai, which is coming up. And slowly and slowly, I think other metros are also coming up. Yes, yes. 
Yeah. I recently watched one of your videos uploaded by one uh, learners, and then I saw and I liked that one. Then I immediately thought that I would also book a session with you. So today I have <laughs> met you here. Right, really. Thank you so much. Thank you for that. I'm. Hmm. Uh, I think this is something that they, uh, you know, decide on their own when to upload and when not to. I'm not aware of which learner has done what. Actually, uh, before uploading, we have to take permission from Clippingo. If Clippingo yes. gives the permission, then only we can do. Yeah, yeah, so absolutely. The, that's good. Yeah. yeah. If the yeah, tutors have good. any issue about that, they uh, they don't accept it, and we cannot upload it. It no, no, I have no issue at all. I think learning is for everyone, and I think knowledge is meant for sharing. It's not yes, for keeping. Yes. So, yeah, yeah. so I'm very glad that uh, you know it was put on a platform where everyone can access it. Yeah, yeah, because uh, that learner uh, had had not uploaded that one, so I would not have come to know about you. So yeah, that's how it yeah. goes. And yeah, 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 yeah. So we are good with the session today, Subhash. If there's anything you would like to talk, um, then that'd be great to have a conversation. No, we are almost on. end of the session, and yeah, yeah. yeah. So with uh, with I wish you a very good day, and we can call <laughs> it the <today>. yes. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Can have I a say? Good day can I too. use it? Uh, can I use it? Uh, let's call it a day. Yeah. Yes, let's call it a day. Is when you want to complete a conversation, and when you want to end the conversation. Um, yeah, yeah. And uh, usually it is a very formal uh, language which is used. Uh, so if you're looking at it something informally, we, do, we could just say that, uh, you know, it was great talking to you uh, or thank you so much for, uh, you know, with, for this conversation, you know, like that or see you soon. So when you say let's call it a day, it becomes a little more on a formal setting. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Deepa, it was a very good conversation and I enjoyed <laughs> it very much. So uh, let's say bye yes. and wish you a very yes. good day. Yes, you too, Subhash. Thank you so much. Have Thank a good you. day. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.